I'm so glad you decided to click on this video because this is going to be your ultimate guide to have the best year you've ever had mentally, physically, emotionally, academically, all of the above. I'm going to be sharing exactly how to start your new year strong. If you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Lena. I have a self-help series here on my channel where we discuss all things becoming your best self. So if you're not subscribed already, what are you doing? Okay. What are you doing? Go subscribe right now. So start by having an overarching theme for 2024 or what I like to call era. Something I love doing, I'm sure we all love doing, okay? Every new year, we love to make lists of like 20,000 goals that we wanna hit. I wanna start doing this, I wanna start doing that, and then none of them end up getting done <laughs> because there's just so many and they're all over the place and you don't even know where to start. So I found that having this overall theme that just encompasses all of your goals is super helpful in just reminding you of all of your goals and sets the tone of what you want your year to look like. So basically I'm in my blank era. So you want to choose something that really aligns with your goals for this new year and this new version of yourself. And I want you guys to grab your journal and write it down or leave it in the comments so I can read it. Check my comments. I read all my comments. So for example, it could be I'm in my academic social wellness girl era or i'm in my independent abundant organized era so mine for this year is actually i am in my healthy abundant productive girl era and honestly the reason why i chose this theme for this year is because last year 2023 <laughs> the theme for that one was my humbled healing girl era <laughs> okay not by choice i was forced to like i'm gonna be honest life really humbled me <laughs> your girl was going through a it. lot of the things that i really defined myself with in other words like kept me feeling safe and secure was kind of tested or taken away from me in 2023 so for example I lost my core group of friends from college. I was friends with them all four years. We had a huge falling out. So I struggled with a lot of loneliness and, and struggled with trying to make new friends. Another one, I was working with my dream brand, Gymshark. It was my dream to become a Gymshark athlete. And I finally was until that year, they dropped me. <laughs> so I literally went from feeling like I was on top of the world to having that stripped away from me. Oh, and also during all this, I was on birth control. So it really just screwed up my mental health. I'm off of it now, thank God. At the time, it made me super depressed and just super tired and I didn't know it was a birth control I thought it was just me and just overall other personal matters that just made me really go through it <laughs> so 2023 really made me go through some stuff but also forced me to heal and not to sound super cheesy and typical but I'm so glad I went through all these things I genuinely believe this like with all my heart and I feel like God lets life humble you to help you grow to teach you to help make you more mature more wise and you can't grow or evolve without discomfort and honestly the real fear shouldn't be going through stuff it should be being stagnant because that's that means no growth or evolution is happening. I genuinely feel so much stronger and just ready to take on this year because of what I went through and what I overcame. So embrace the growth, okay? Don't run away from it. Don't feel defeated by it. You will overcome this. Whatever you're going through, you will overcome it. If 2023 was kind of trash for you too, don't worry, you're not alone. And instead of seeing it in a negative light, we are gonna turn her around and make it so that it fuels our hunger for this new year to achieve our goals and to become our best selves. So now ask yourself, what are the actionable steps I can take to embody this new era for myself. So basically any hobbies, activities, habits that are going to help you be in this new era for yourself. And I actually like to categorize them. So it's more organized. I wrote down in my journal in 2024, I'm in my healthy, abundant, productive girl era. So under healthy, I made the subcategory goals of mental health, spiritual health, physical health. So under mental, some of the things I put is journaling daily. The real ones already know I love journaling. I do it already every single day, but I really want to work on being super vulnerable with myself when I journal. Cause sometimes I'm not gonna lie. I'm just like, like, I'm grateful for this. I'm grateful for that. Boom, close the journal. <laughs> Managing my screen time. So putting my devices on do not disturb, limiting the amount of hours I'm just scrolling mindlessly on social media, creating a vision board to really visualize how I want my year to go. Listen, if you haven't already created a vision board, get on it, okay? It is life-changing. I love creating my vision board. This new year, I was a little bit lazy. So I did an online one, which is so much easier. I literally did it on Canva and I just copied and pasted a bunch of pictures from Pinterest. And it just helps seeing your goals just come to life and seeing what they look like. I'm just a very very visual person so it helps a lot under spiritual goals going to church on sunday praying daily really making that a core part of my daily routine for physical getting my steps in every day going on my hot girl walks cooking more home cooked meals meal prepping eating out a lot less smelling good having my own signature scent that i wear all the time being on top of my daily supplements this is a huge one taking my daily vitamins staying on top of my gut health actually speaking of health goals if you're like me and you really want to work on getting your vitamins your supplements and your gut health i got you with the best 
product for this. I'm putting you guys on to one of my obsessions currently, and it is bone broth. Bone broth might sound a little weird, but listen, bone broth is basically a concoction of amazingness, okay? It's a great source of vitamins and minerals, clean protein, but especially collagen, which is crucial for your skin, your hair, your nails, and it is amazing for your metabolism and your gut health. By the way, thank you to Dr. Kelly Ann's for sponsoring today's video. I genuinely love their bone broth. I've tried a few, and this is by far the most convenient. Their bone broth is infused with collagen, and they have these on-the-go packets, which are so convenient. Literally, all you gotta do is pour hot water, pop one of these babies in, mix it up, and boom, you're ready to go. I've noticed a huge difference in my gut health. Things are running smoothly, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and it literally just tastes like a warm, yummy chicken soup. This chicken one, by the way, is my fave. And yeah, let's get on our bone broth wave for this new year together. They're now available on drkellyann.com. Head to the link in my description or use code LENABB20 for 20% off. So my subcategory goals for abundant, my social media career, financial, and experiences. So under social media career, I put that obviously I want to try to grow the fam, so go subscribe if you're not subscribed. <laughs> and my goal is to post quality content weekly, following a weekly schedule, showing up for you guys, obviously, posting short form content, launching my business. For financial, I'm gonna budget, really track my expenses and put limits on myself, you know? For shopping, I'm gonna put things in wish list instead of just impulse buying. I don't know about you, but I can definitely work on that. <laughs> Under experiences, I wanna travel more and invest more in my travel. And also put myself out there in social scenarios and really taking initiative in making plans with people and trying to make new friends. Another one actually is going to influencer events. <laughs> Listen, this is really out of my comfort zone because influencer events, they scare me. <laughs> like it's a little bit intimidating and I also have imposter syndrome. I just feel like I don't belong there at all. But you know, 2024 is the year that we get out of our comfort zone. So under protective, sticking with my daily morning and night routine, using my planner and calendar for my weekly, monthly schedule, having a weekly, monthly reset. This is life-changing. Basically a dedicated reset day where you declutter, reorganize, refresh. So yeah, that's basically all of mine and I want you guys to start organizing your actual goals with your overall theme so you know that way you start the new year with all of your goals organized in your head and you are ready to take action not just talk the talk with your goals but walk the walk declutter detach delete so the start of the new year is honestly the ultimate time to have the biggest reset before the busy year ahead so now is the time to declutter your space declutter your mind clean your room rearrange your room organize the way you have your clothes organize your class schedule for the month listen I know we all have that one drawer that we shove all of our mess in and we close and never look at yeah you want to open up that drawer and start cleaning. It's a new year, so I want you to start detaching from past experiences, toxic people, painful memories. Basically, you want to leave behind anything that is not serving this new era for yourself. So if it's not serving you, making you better, making you happier, detach from it and, and let it go, okay? Delete. So go through your phone, delete any screenshots that you have that you don't need. I know we have tons of them. Go ahead and delete photos of that one person that when you see that photo, it literally makes your heart sink. I know we all got old messages from that one person that we should not be keeping. <laughs> delete, get rid of it. Or you know, it doesn't even need to be that deep. Just go through your laptop or your phone, delete stuff, clear out space. I know we all could use some extra storage space. I'm telling you, resetting will be that thing that really sets the tone for your new year. It just gives you this like blank canvas to work with. After you do this, I promise you, you're gonna find yourself so much more refreshed and ready to take on the new year, which leads me to my next point. Leave the trash in 2023. <laughs> One thing I will say is I know we all have some work to do in terms of leaving behind anyone or anything that does not serve this new version of our ourselves, whether it's a toxic friend, a toxic coworker, or bad habits that we know that are not good for us, but we continue to do, even our own toxic thoughts about ourselves. Basically, anything that is not good for us, take all that and leave it behind. You basically want to just enter this year with no negative strings attached so that you can make room for the positive new ones. And I don't know who needs to hear this, but even if someone hurt you, you need to learn to forgive and let it go. The more we hold on to painful things that we know are not good for us, the more we're just hurting ourselves. So honestly, something that really helped me personally is writing letters to people that have hurt me or your past, your younger self even, and just let it out. Say all the things that you want to say and get your closure. Yo guys, my notes app and my phone goes crazy, okay? I have written letters, like essay long letters to people who did me dirty or hurt me in the past. I just basically let my feelings fly. I just type away. I spill everything. But at the end, I always make sure to forgive them, myself, and let it go. Because ultimately, I want to have the control. I can't force someone else to apologize to me. I can't go back in time and force younger Lena 
to not make those bad decisions. But what I do have control over is how I feel about it now and how I choose to move forward. So I want you to know that you have the power to bring yourself peace. The words you speak are not just words, they are your superpower. Believe this, okay? I want you guys to believe this. So basically, whatever you say out loud or to yourself will always come true. Let me tell you, I was the queen of having low confidence, okay? And you know why? Because I used to be the person that always told myself, I'm gonna start working out this year. I'm gonna start getting good grades. I'm gonna start posting on YouTube. I'm gonna start learning a new language. I'm gonna start doing this and that, whatever. And every single time, I could never follow through. And every new year, like clockwork, I would write down all of my goals just to hit none of them. <laughs> and this is because every single time I said I wanted something or I'm gonna start doing something, subconsciously to myself, I would always tell myself, you're going to fail. You're not capable enough. So as a result, anything I ever started would just fail because I was operating out of fear and self-doubt. But you guys, when I finally changed my mindset and saw every word I spoke and spoke to myself as a superpower, I became a woman of my word. And I genuinely believe that everything I speak will come into existence. So I went from saying, I'm ugly, I'm untalented, I'm stupid, to literally just stopping all that negative self-talk because I didn't want it to come true. And instead telling myself, I can do this. I'm smart, I'm capable, I'm beautiful. And I genuinely started to believe it because my words are my superpower. So I said, I will start my YouTube channel. I started my YouTube channel. I will start my fitness journey. I started my fitness journey. And I stopped saying it to just say it to myself to make myself feel better. I said it with the intention of knowing it's a superpower that's going to come true. Which leads me to my last and final point, build your resume of self-trust. So honestly guys, the key to this new year and reaching all your goals, becoming the best version of yourself, all of that boils down to one thing and that is self-trust. You need to believe in yourself and that when you set these goals for yourself and envision this new year and this new life for yourself, everything that you want is in your full capability and is in your hands. Guys, I'm gonna be so real. If you were to talk to 19 year old Lena, like freshman baby Lena in college who had no friends, was crying every weekend alone in her dorm room, failed her first few college exams, literally had $15 to my name, hated looking in the mirror because I thought I was so ugly, that I'm here today living this life I never thought I was capable of, having a community of subscribers who genuinely love and care for me and I genuinely love and care for them and being the most confident version of myself, 19 year old Lena would never believe you. All of this began with self-trust and believing in myself. Not just telling myself, oh, I wanna start doing this, but actually working to build my resume of self-trust and doing it. Now I know that any new thing that I wanna achieve this new year, I can do it because I have the resume and experiences to back it up. And I promise you, it does not take some special talent or crazy motivation. If I can do it, I promise you can do it too. No matter what you wanna achieve or accomplish or who you wanna become, you can 110% do it. I'm here to tell you that I believe in you. I really, really hope that was helpful. I want you guys to write down some of your 2024 goals in the comments so you know we can hype each other up. Subscribe, come join the fam. If you wanna become the best version of yourself, we can do it together. Give this video a like if you're a real one and follow me on Instagram if you're a real one. I love you guys so, so much and I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye guys.